Hi, this is Andrew Twidwell, Smart Think Marketing. This is the fourth video in our WordPress training giveaway. Within your WordPress dashboard, you'll see quite a few options for creating a post, a page, adding widgets, and all different components of your new website. You've already selected your theme, so you probably have a pretty good feel on how, the, your, how easy the dashboard is to use. Once you've got the overall look of your site, you need to begin publishing content. In the next couple of slides, you'll notice that we've highlighted both the post and the page options. When you create a WordPress-based website, the text on the front page of your website comes from the text and that you create in that post. When you add additional pages, for instance, an about or a contact page, you probably guessed it, you'll use the add a page function in your WordPress dashboard. When creating your post, you need a headline and text or content of the post, and then you have to publish your content you can see the publish area highlighted to the right. If you notice, you have the option to publish immediately or you can schedule your post to appear at a future date and time. Scheduling can be extremely helpful when you're using your WordPress site as a blog. For instance, say you've just finished three blog posts, you can schedule them to publish throughout the week instead of all at the same time. We're just talking about the basics here. When you publish a post, your, your content becomes live, which you'll see in the next two slides. You can see here where I've entered both the headline and the content on this slide, and now, voila! Now you can see how it looks like when it's published. Hey, check it out. You now know enough to make your own website and make it go live. We're going to throw in an extra video in a few days that will cover more information. I'm going to fill you in on some of the more really cool, meaty WordPress stuff like widgets and plugins. So we'll talk soon. See you in the next video.